What's up guys? Um, so I bought a, new, bought a new firearm. Well, it's actually bought it a few days ago. Last week, I guess. Sometime last week. And um, I just ship it to Academy. Since they're they're an FFL dealer and I pay, pay a transfer fee to get it. But um, this will be my concealed carry firearm. I'm going to register for a concealed carry class training course and um, then I'll pay the fee to actually apply for the permit and yeah this is the um, this is actually an M&P Smith & Wesson M this is, sorry this is a Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 compact the optics ready version and um, I'm just gonna unbox it and show it to you. It's already been open since they, they had to open it at the um, at the store academy to um, like check it and stuff like that and like the serial number. But um, it's already been taken out. But um, I'm unboxing for you guys. So I guess your firearm here. We're gonna set that to the side. So it comes with a um, cable lock, which most people don't really use, but. See, it can be, it'll be useful if you're like storing a gun and not using it for a while, so that's that. Um, you also get in here this compartment, you also get um, another 15 round magazine. That's, that's a grayish follower. Yeah. This was already tested or something, but that's that. Get the magazine. You get some spacers. Let's say you buy a 17 round mag or something like that and you wanna use it on your compact, you can use that, but you, have, you should use these spacers on it so it fits properly, it doesn't cause any like malfunctions or anything like that. So that, I'm just gonna set that back in there. Well, we'll set it here. It also gets extra palm swells or back straps, some people call them for the gun. This one is a, let's see, I'm sorry. That's a small, that's the small one. Uh, this one is the, I say, I don't know if you can see that, but that's the medium large one right there. So there's one more in here. And this is the large. And I think the medium is already on the pistol. So that's that. These are your um, screw in your plates for your optics. I will be putting an optic on this eventually. So these are your screws. Fortunately, they're plastic, but they should get the job done. And there's some screws in there to be used. And there's something else in the box. Paperwork, booklets, important stuff here. Um, California, uh, I don't live in California, so it's not relevant. But you should register online if you buy a new firearm. Um, California warning, so I will be registering it online. And, your manual, you should definitely read it so you know more about your gun. Um, yep, manual. And now we're going to have to take a look at the firearm itself. So it is, um, let's see, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. But there you go. Engage the slide lock, take out the chamber flag there. And there it is. Oh, yeah, let me unload the magazine. There you go. Finger up the trigger, no magazine. You can see there, there's no, no rounds in there. I'm not gonna, you can't release the slide lock, but I'm just gonna release it like that. So I was kind of worried this would be too big to conceal. I was considered getting the 3.6 inch barrel, but um, I thought with this one, since I got a good deal on Grab a Gun, that's where I got it. I bought it, paid like 450 ish after taxes and shipping. And this is the Hesty screws for the optics cutout um, magazine release you have the slide stop um, this is the takedown le lever not sure how to take it down but um actually, I think I know how but um, this is also where you change out the um, palm swells there um, what else I guess we'll put the magazine in there you go that's what it looks like um, should have brought the snap caps out could have tested it i do have some snap caps for dry firing and like practicing but um we're gonna just try it out just to see how the trigger is so i tested it out at a different gun store so it does have a take up it is kind of gritty but i think it'll break in over time so we'll 
it again. Here's the reset. Yeah, a bit of a take. Not the best trigger, but it's it's a solid trigger. Not as good as the Canic I have, but it's a solid trigger. I guess I'll have to test it out and stuff. It does have like the hinge design there, right there. And that's about, that's about it so far. So I do want to try to take it down. So dump the magazine. That's so dump the magazine. Get the slide lock leave. And I believe you pull down the take down the lever. Oof, like that. And there's this pin here. You push down. I think well, it was already pushed down, so okay. So, let's see if we can take it down. You have to pull the trigger. Oh, okay, it's already pulled. If I can't take it down, then yeah. Oh my. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh yeah, yet you have to pull it down. Okay, I know what to do now. Okay, so I know what to do. So we engage the slide lock, pull down this lever, and there's a tool in here. I think you pull it out, right? There you go. Sorry about that. This tool here, and you go in there. Sorry, there's no light, but um, should have should have had my flash on. But pull that, push that lever, let little lever down like that. Then you can take it down. Like, There you go. A little tricky, but there's the frame. See that? It's a little leather, a little, little piece that you flip. It'll flip back up when you put a magazine back in. Here's the recoil spring. I think this is going to be a little oily, but got the recoil spring right there. And the slide. And you also have the barrel. It's a four inch barrel four inch barrel and there's the slide. Now we're gonna put it back together. Crap, there you go. Recoil spring, put that back in. That's got it right. Alright, so gonna all right, put that down. Oh, actually, okay. Use the slide lock, then put that down. Then, all right, put that back. Then put this little tool back in. Like this, that, there you go. The tool back in. Magazine back in. Check the slide. Yep, there you go. So, there's my unboxing. Um, sorry for a little quality and the positioning is hard. I didn't have enough desk space to do it right in front of my monitor, so I had to like shift to the side, and that's why it looks so awkward. But I um, hope you guys um, enjoyed it, and um, I guess like the unboxing. I'll be looking forward to unboxing more stuff. Probably won't be a firearm, but it might be something else, like some other tech or something like that. And uh, catch you guys next time. Thanks.